Okay, friends, in this video, let's discuss about critically endangered bird species that are present in India. This include white bellied heron, forest owlet, Jordan cursor, uh, pink headed duck, Himalayan quail, Bengal florican, sociable lapwing, Siberian crane, and spoon billed sandpiper. These are some of the critically endangered birds that are present in India. There are other birds which are critically, which are in the critically endangered category. Uh, I am concentrating some of the important birds. Uh, let's look at these things in detail. First, let's look at the white-bellied heron. This white-bellied heron is extremely rare bird found in five to six areas in the Assam and Arunachal Pradesh area, and in found in one or two sites in the Bhutan and few. Of the sites in Myanmar. So the habitat distribution uh, of this bird species is concentrated in the northeastern India. That is in the northeastern India, Bhutan and adjoining countries like Bangladesh and northern Myanmar. So the hab habitat for this uh, species is rivers with sand or gravel bars or inland lakes. So it is found in the lake areas. The threats for this species include loss and degradation of the lowland forest and wetlands through direct exploitation and interference by the human beings. Next, the forest owlet. This forest owlet uh, was known uh, to extinct uh, for a long period. So, uh, for a century, it was known that it, it was extinct. But it was rediscovered in 1997. So, the habitat of this species is dry deciduous forest. So, it is found in the central part of India. And distribution includes uh, south, southern Madhya Pradesh, in northwest Maharashtra, and north central Maharashtra. So, southern Madhya Pradesh, northwest Maharashtra, north central Maharashtra is the distribution of this forest owlet. And the threats include logging operation, burning and cutting of the trees, damage, roosting, and nesting trees of the forest owlet. So, these are all the threats to this forest species. This is found in the deciduous, dry deciduous forest. Next is Jerdon's cursor. So this is the Jerdon's cursor and it is a nocturnal bird species. So it is found, it, it is active during the night times and found only in the northern part of the state of Andhra Pradesh. So it is endemic to Andhra Pradesh only, Andhra Pradesh. Okay, and it is a flagship species for its extremely threatened, uh, threatenedness in the scrub jungle. The species was considered to be extinct until it was discovered in 1986 in an area called uh, uh, which is present uh, Sing Sri uh, Lankamaleshwara Wildlife Sanctuary. It was found in that area, so it was converted into wildlife sanctuary recently. Okay, and the habitat includes undisturbed scrub jungle and open areas. The distribution is, as I mentioned earlier, found only in the Andhra Pradesh and endemic to Andhra Pradesh itself. The threats includes clearing of the scrub jungle, creation of new pastures, growing dry land crops, and plantation of exotic tree species quarrying and construction of the Telugu Ganga Canal. So Telugu Ganga Canal construction also uh, brings destruction to this species and illegal trapping of the birds is also a threat. Next is pink headed duck. So this male birds has the pink head. So they are called pink headed duck. Female do not have the pink head. Okay. The habitat includes the still water and pools. Okay. These are all the wetland habitats. They have wetland habitats. The marshes, swamps in the lowland forest and tall grasslands. So they are found in the wetlands. As you observe here, it is found in the coastal areas and some of the wettest areas of the country. So distribution, it is recorded in India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, and maximum record from northeastern India. So northeastern India, they have abundant rainfall. So they are found there. The threats includes wetland degradation and loss of habitat along with hunting are some of the major causes of the decline of this pink-headed Duck. It is found majorly in the northeastern India and adjoining countries like Bangladesh and Myanmar. Next is Himalayan quail. As the name itself indicates, its habitat, its distribution is the Western Himalaya. Okay, Western Himalaya, and it was presumed extinct since 1876, but it was reported in the Nainital in 2003. The habitat includes dense grass. Okay, and these bird species are reluctant to fly, so they. Since they are found within the dense grass and they do not fly, uh, they are rarely found uh, in the open space and they, they are rarely found by the human beings. So they, it was presumed extinct since 1876, but it was reported in 2000, 2003. Okay, and the threats includes indiscriminate hunting during the colonial period, along with habitat modification by the human beings. Next is Bengal florican. 
Bengal floricon, it is a rare bustard species that is very well known for its mating dance. It is known for its mating dance. To attract the partner, it, it dances. Okay, and the habitat includes grasslands occasionally interspersed with scrubland. So another great Indian bustard is also one of the critical endangered species. I have not uh, uh, listed that in my uh, in my slide. Please include that also. And distribution includes it is native to only three countries in the world. Okay, that is uh, among, along with that India is one, of, one among them. That is India, Cambodia, and Nepal. In India, it is found only in the three states. That is in Uttar Pradesh, Assam, and Arunachal Pradesh. So the threats include the conversion of birds, grassland habitat for various purposes, including agriculture and other activities uh, by the, by the human beings. So this has led to the decline in, in the population of the Bengal floricon. Okay. Next, sociable lapwing. Sociable lapwing is a migrant to India, winter migrant to India. It is not uh, native to India, so it migrates to India for the habitat during the winter season since uh, some of the parts of the world are not inhabitable for these birds during the winter season so they migrate to india to escape the harsh climatic conditions the habitat includes the fallow fields and scrub deserts and distribution includes uh, the central asia and western indian subcontinent including kazakhstan russia kyrgyzstan tajikistan uzbekistan turkmenistan so these are the central asian countries like western indian subcontinent like afghanistan armenia sorry and uh, the georgia azerbaijan iran iraq saudi arabia so these are the distribution areas of this uh, this bird next is in india we have uh, it is distributed distribution is restricted to north and northwest part of the country the threats include conversion of habitat to arable land that is for the cultivation of crops crops but for the agriculture and illegal hunting and and proximity of the human beings and their settlements to these areas is also one of the uh, threatening factor for this bird species next is the great siberian crane siberian crane is also a migratory bird and india is one of the breeding and wintering sites for this siberian crane and in India, it, we found Siberian cranes, cranes during the winter season in the Kikyolado uh, National Park in the Rajasthan. So, habitat is wetland areas. And the threats include pesticide pollution from the nearby agricultural fields, wetland drainage, and development of prime habitat land, that is wetland, to agriculture field and some other, some extent, hunting is also threatening uh, this species into extinction. And next is spoon billed sandpiper. Look at the beak. Uh, it is look like a spoon so this is called spoon built sandpaper and it requires highly specialized breeding habitat so this is called habitat niche i have discussed in my previous videos if you have not watched that please go back and watch that that was an interesting video and only 150 to 320 breeding pairs present worldwide only some uh, only 300 breeding pairs are present in the world so it is highly endangered and the habitat includes coastal areas with sparse vegetation and no breeding record is found further inland than the seven kilometer from the shore shoreline so if this is the shoreline if you go more than seven kilometer there is that is not the place for breeding for these species so this is highly concentrated in, concentrated in the narrow belt uh, around the seashore okay and the distribution has been recorded in west bengal orissa kerala and tamil nadu so these are all the coastal uh, districts, uh, coastal states. So these are the places of distribution for these bird species. Next, threats include habitat degradation and land reclamation. Human disturbance also led to high incidence of nest desertion. Next, let's look at the vultures. There are nine species of vulture, vultures. Among these, the three important species that is the white-backed vulture, uh, slender-billed vulture, and long-billed vulture. Uh, these three vulture species found 99% uh, decline in their population. So these are highly, highly threatened and highly endangered species. So the vultures uh, do the great work of keeping environment clean. Uh, they are making Swachh Bharat Habyan. Okay, uh, they by scavenging on animal carcasses. Uh, the decline in vulture population has associated uh, disease risk. Okay, uh, including increased risk of uh, spread of rabies and anthrax these are some of the threats to the species and the major threat is the application of painkiller declonofac to the domestic cattle okay so when this cattle dies uh, if if 
this vulture uh, feeds on the carcass of these domestic cattle, uh, they may that that leads to accumulation of the declonofac in the body of the vultures. So declonofac is not digestible by the vultures. So the accumulating they goes on accumulating the body of the vultures. So that may lead to several complications like gout-like symptoms and neck drooping, uh, failure of the kidneys ultimately leading to the death of the vultures. So this is main reason for the uh, reduction in the population of these vultures. So this is it about vultures. This is the white billed vulture, slender billed vulture, slender and long billed vulture. And this is red headed vulture. So these are under threat. So thank you. Thanks for watching this video. And please uh, subscribe through your email address. Click here and enter your email address let's discuss directly and let's share important resources uh, with each other please subscribe to this and click here and enter your email address there and like share and subscribe to this channel thank you